Hello and welcome to a video demonstration on glazing using Myolica. This will be the final result. Remember, I'm going to go fast here so you can pause whenever you need to. This is the glaze area and this is where the Myolica washes are located. Right in room 109 Drayton and Maynard building. So here's the white glaze. It's dried. I've applied it to this plate. This is the white glaze, not the clear glaze. The white glaze is going to be white and gives a surface to paint on. If you look inside the buckets, remember, the white glaze looks exactly like the clear glaze, so don't get confused and always put the lids back on the buckets. So here we are, I'm all set up. I've got my plate, my washes, I've got my plates, I've got my brushes, some cleaning water, and a spray bottle. So what we're going to do is we are going to start painting Myolica onto this piece, and by that I mean I'm actually going to use colors. Here is the red. You'll notice it's a little dry. It's kind of cracking. That's okay. It's like watercolors. You can spray some water in there and rehydrate that wash so that you get some color that will stick on your brush. Now you're going to notice as I'm starting to paint here, here's a line. You'll see how dry it is and how stuck it kind of gets to the plate. And maybe that's okay, but I want to add a little more water. So remember that you have to adjust the amount of water to the wash in order to make the wash paintable on the surface. Here's a trick. This is the lid and the lid has dried on wash on it. So I'm going to spray it a little bit with the spray bottle and try and get a thinner wash so that I can apply that to this plate and use a dark line to outline the text and the skull. So now I'm gonna go with blue and I'm gonna try with a little bit of a thin wash to kind of create a ground here. Mm, it kind of looks like the ocean. Oh, it looks like the ocean. And I'm also gonna go through and kind of highlight some of the red because I wanted to reinforce that. So you can paint these colors over each other if you want to. And I think I'll put a shark in here and a little boat and yeah, some water kind of moving around them. Yay! And then make sure you put the lids back onto these containers for the next person who's going to use them. So now I'm gonna try using Scraffito where I'm gonna take a bamboo skewer and I'm going to carve through the glaze and reveal the clay that's underneath there. That can give me some contrast, some dark red to the white of the glaze. Whenever I carve through, I like to take my brush and then clean it off afterwards so that I can see what I've done. Now you wonder, what's this gonna look like? Well, it just so happens, I've got the fired results. Looks like my ocean is a little bit red. All the other colors came out as expected. You can see the scraffito where I carved through to the clay. So myelica is a great way of adding surface and pattern to your work. Remember, you can always pause this video as you're watching through it, and here are some of the takeaways I hope you get from this demonstration. Now go out there and make some great things!